It was a Tuesday afternoon, and we found ourselves in a courtyard in East Austin. The flowers were a signpost that said, slow down. The fountain splashed out a signal, relax. And in the quiet calm, we thought we heard music. All we ask of people when they ask is that they can carry a tune, uh, they can convey kindness with their voices, that they will work to blend with other people. We're not soloists here, but that's pretty much it. Like she does every week, Laura Weber is running choir practice. She's part of a small group of women of all ages and backgrounds who meet over hugs, smiles, and cookies and they'll need all the warmth and support they can muster before showtime because this choir sings under the most difficult of circumstances. We are in uh, Hospice Austin Christopher House, which is an inpatient hospice facility. Uh, has about 15 rooms, and uh, we come and sing songs for uh, patients who are uh, in the process of dying and their families. We gather here every Tuesday evening uh, and kind of go through some songs for about an hour and then we will uh, go out in the hallway here at Christopher House and probably and sing something so that the patients and their families can hear what we are doing. They call themselves the Austin Threshold Choir and they've given the gift of music to thousands of patients in their final days. It kind of provides a space for them that's that's comforting perhaps a little healing in spirit there is a sense of calming and a sense of uh, quiet and peace and, and comfort so that's what we hope we, we bring to people Laura first read about the idea of a threshold choir in a magazine. Hi. And something about it struck a chord with her. She found about a dozen other singers in Austin who felt the same way. And after their first visit, there was no turning back. We didn't kind of know what to expect, but I hoped it would be like this, to, for whatever small period of time, uh, bring that sense of uh, ease, of presence, of being with somebody in this kind of situation. And uh, I, I really feel that when we're here, and I hope the others do as well, and I certainly hope the patients and families feel that. Wandering the halls of this hospice facility, the choir is a welcome sight. Their soothing songs comfort those in pain and lighten the burden of caretakers with heavy hearts. I'm just always grateful, you know, on the days that I see them practicing out front that, you know, they'll be around the corner here in a little bit and <laughs> sing for us. People like Heather Kitzel, a veteran hospice nurse who knows just how hard it is for anyone to be at Christopher House. People, I think, feel like hospice nursing is a difficult job. Um, a lot of people will say, oh, you're an angel. You know, there's a lot of sympathy because I think people don't deal with end of life every day. They do bring, a, you know, I think a very special gift to people at end of life. 
When we come to offer songs to people who would like it, do you think that's something that oh, your loved one really would, would like? like Okay. Even if they're not aware of their surroundings, you know, we do know that hearing is the last sense to go. And I could only imagine if I was in that place that it would be like angels singing. Peace be with you. The choir's greatest numbers occur not on a stage, but huddled around a hospital bed. In these moments, everything unimportant has been stripped away. There's no spotlight, no applause, just a gift of love from one person to another and kindness echoing off the walls. You know, they're just people. We really find it a privilege to be with them. For many families, the days spent at Hospice Austin are the worst they've ever faced. They wish they never had to walk in here. But for Laura Weber and this sisterhood of angels, there's no place they'd rather be. Sometimes people, you know, say, "How can you do this?" And I, and I start thinking, you know, I, I immediately think of these families and these these precious people here, and I think. How can I not do this? I mean, you just sort of, it's not hard in that sense that you know that this is something you have to do.